The man is married to a psychopath, and he has no idea because she did everything she could to hide it from him. This contemporary gothic romance starts out with a bang, leaving our narrator covered in blood in the opening pages. Loan Ashley is a semi-reclusive author, and she's on her way to a meeting with her agent and a publisher in New York City, when she witnesses a horrific accident that leaves her a mess. In comes knight in shining armor Jeremy to the rescue. He comforts her and gives her the shirt off his back, literally. They part ways and Loan continues on to her meeting only to find out it includes him. His wife, Verity Crawford, is a famous and much more successful author who's recently suffered a car accident which left her unable to finish her series. Jeremy asks Loan to write it for her, which she initially declines due to an aversion to publicity. But her mother's recent death has left her with nothing but debt and an eviction notice. He makes her an offer she can't refuse. Say, make money, money, make money, money, money. Make money, money, make money, money, money. Uh, money makes the world go round. So she agrees to take on the assignment, rents a car, and drives from the Big Apple to Vermont to go through Verity's notes in her home office. The house is dark, creepy, and secluded and Jeremy's son Crew doesn't exactly inspire confidence. He's a troubled little boy who's recently lost his sisters in two separate accidents before his mother's car met a tree. Loan takes over the home office, organizing and taking notes for the three books she's agreed to write. In the process, she discovers an autobiography that gives her a disturbing insight into Verity's mind. Between the creepy house, the strange child, and what she's learned, Loan wants out. But she pushes on through her terror, determined to get to the truth. But what is the truth? Colleen Hoover's skillful writing keeps attention and paranoia heightened in this page turner. It is not for children or those who can't stand violence, disturbing deaths, graphic language, and sexual situations. If you're into psychological thrillers and twisted romances, try this one out. It certainly kept me entertained. And after you read it, tell me what you think. I'm pretty sure this novel is going to make money.